pretest, a doggone presentation, a speech, homework lingering over my head. I had to wake up at 15 in the morning. I had to go to different formations. Wait a minute. This kind of sounds like a lot of your life, right? You got to do a lot of things. So the point of my speech today is stress. Stress. So I have all these things going on in my life, and I am stressed. I don't know what to do. I really don't. And for those of you who know me, you, I, I'm a pretty cool guy. You never see it in me. But I was stressed. So I looked at my roommate and I said, man, I'm done with this school. I'm done. I can't do it no more. I said, you know what? Bump this test. I'm going to bed. But before I go to bed, there's two things I have to do religiously. One, pray. Always have to pray. But two, I got to get on Instagram and see what's going on. But I just so happened to get on Instagram. I got on Instagram and I saw this post. And for some reason, it was the answer to all my prayers. What am I supposed to do? So in this post, a professor, a professor was talking. And he said, I'm going to ask you all something. He says, how much does this cup of water weigh? You got an answer? Give me an answer. Wrong. Give me something. Wrong. Give me something. Wrong. <laughs> These are all wrong answers because this cup right here weighs as much as you want it to weigh. What am I talking about? If I sit here and hold this cup out, it's going to weigh practically nothing. It's, it doesn't feel like anything. But if I hold on to this cup for about an hour, my arm's going to start to ache a little bit, you know, get a little shake. What if I decide to hold on to this cup all day? My arm's going to feel like it's going to break. It's going to feel like it's going to fall off. That's what stress is like. You hold on to stress, you hold on to problems for a little while, they're light. Hold on for a little while longer, it starts to ache, it starts to bother you. If you continue to hold on to these things, it's going to break you. If you continue to hold on to your problems, it's going to break you. So he taught me a special, a very special lesson. Put the damn cup down. If you got stress, if you have problems, why don't you put them down? My arm doesn't hurt anymore. Then I said to myself, I said, self. Myself says, hmm? <laughs> I said, self, just because I put the cup down, the cup of stress, that's what we call it. Just because I put the cup of stress down, did my problems go away or did I just put them to the side? I thought to myself, and then I answered myself. I said, self, self said it again. I'm tired of you. I can't just put my problems to the side and expect them to evaporate, although this is work. How do I handle my stress? How do I handle my problems? I don't, I don't hold on to it. I don't hold on to it for an hour and let it hurt. I don't hold on to it for a day and let it break me. I drink it. I drink my problems. I didn't say drink my problems away. I didn't tell y'all <laughs> This is an analogy. If this is stress, and if I hold on to it, it's going to hurt me. If these are problems and I hold on to them, they're going to break me. Why would I hold on to them? But then again, why would I just not be mad about it and set it to the side? Why don't I drink my problems? Why don't I indulge myself in my stress? Why don't I handle my business? I had three tests. I had a presentation. I had a speech, which I am talking about right now. I am drinking the water figuratively and literally. I am drinking my stress. So for you all, when life, they say when life gives you lemon, lemons, you make lemonade, right? But they never tell you what to do with the lemonade. You can leave that lemonade on the table. Leave those problems. For you, I want you to know that when life or the Citadel or anything 
gives you problems or stress, 